and welcome to your Go Market update for today, Thursday, the 20th of October. Max Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets here. Delighted that you're investing the time in watching this video. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. Of course, overnight, we saw a choppy session in the US, with US equities finishing markedly lower after a couple of days to the upside. We saw the 10-year bond yield hit highs not seen since 2008, and that's certainly uh, played on market minds. In after hours, earnings reporting, Tesla dropped in excess of 6% uh, and IBM beat and up around about 2.5% I think in after hours trading. US futures are mixed in Asian trading, the Nasdaq is dramatically underperforming on the back of that Tesla result. Uh, the Dow is pretty neutral at this stage, but Asian indices have traded lower following that weaker US lead. Remember at this stage yesterday, we were seeing the US futures up and that's why we're seeing that little bit of weakness today. ASX is down around 0.8% with a fairly broad-based sell-off outside of energy stocks. European equity futures are also pointing to a lower open. On the FX front, as we've already intimated, the bond yields were one of the major stories overnight, and that certainly helped the USD. That popped higher, and there's some follow-through in Asia. So we're seeing the US dollar outperform most currencies today. Gold broke 16.50 support and is now trading at three-week lows. The support is not that far away which was where it hit about a month ago. Oil did edge higher off the key 90 level on the Brent crude CFD contract and copper futures continue to edge lower and are also nearing support. So commodities are selling off on the back of that USD strength. And the VIX is holding comfortably above 30 at this stage as market concerns continue, of course, and this is despite earnings coming across better than expected at this stage. On the crypto space, not much action going on. We are seeing a drift downwards back towards support on Bitcoin. It is holding above 18,600 at the moment, but a test looks as though it's possibly on the cards, particularly if we see continued selling in equities, perhaps there seems to be some correlation there. On the data front, we saw Australian jobs disappoint this morning. And we've got the People's Bank of China interest rate decision, German PPI, US weekly jobs and manufacturing data all due out during the course of the session. We're also still, of course, in the midst of earnings season. We ramp up big time next week, but tonight we've got some big players with over 150 companies reporting. Amongst those, we've got Freeport, McMoran, AT&T and Snap the highlights on a relatively busy earnings day. Remember, it usually quietens down on a Friday and a Monday. And then we see some big numbers coming out next week. Big tech, some of the big industrials are going to play centre stage. A couple of charts that caught our eye this morning that are worth having a look at. On the ASX, we noticed a big jump in CEO resources this morning. Significant move up. We were looking for a break of this $2 level. But we've surpassed that subsequent to a quarterly activities report. And you can see there we are pushed hard up against a previous Key level last hit back in January of around about 212 there. You can see we did shoot above that initially. We brought ourselves back to that key level there. So we'll watch this towards the back end of the day uh, just to see if there's any further buying pressure in it or whether it reverts to uh, trading back within this range that it was in for uh, the best part of the whole of January. In the FX world, we are seeing some weakness in the commodity-based currencies and a little bit of strength in comparison in the euro and GB pound. We've got the GB pound Kiwi up at this stage. Uh, and you can see we've had an established support on the daily chart around about 197.35 with a little bit of a bounce off today, suggesting that we may be up for some significant movement. If we just put it on the hourly chart, uh, you can see there that perhaps the level of interest may be around about this 198.50 level. I want to watch. I think it may be worthwhile not getting greedy in this market. Possibly a 40 pip up move would be acceptable for those who should trade short term. But in the medium term, possibly a retest of that 100 pip level here. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.